Very beautiful, very covered in a little bunch of little bulbs and those little heart pieces. All very exciting. And unfortunately, I did not get the Technic piece that goes in the middle to hold this thing together, so it's comes apart quite easily since these la since these layers are really That's kind of annoying, I guess I have to. Today we're going to look at set number 40640 Lego Nutcracker. Here are the front of the box with our Nutcracker in question. Surrounded by some nuts. All very exciting. Apparently you get two phases if you want. Read the top of the box with our legal information. One piece up there. Your good old Lego logo. Read the side of the box with absolutely nothing going on. Read the other side of the box with your warning about small parts. Some, you know, some of your language lesson there. Read the bottom of the box with your lucky numbers and barcodes and more legal information, reminders of recycling, all very exciting stuff. We have the back of the box showing off our nutcracker once again. Good old how to use your nutcracker. What happens when you use your nutcracker. So yeah, let's, let's go let's go put this thing together. Which face are you gonna choose? Here we have our nutcracker all put together. Looking very nut nutcrackery. Not much to it, you know, it's just pretty much a static figure. Do get a bit of arms that do kind of move, but they get no real hands or anything. They're just, you know, decoration. Nice little belt there. Do get a nice little gold trim. Nice little boots and a bit of a, I guess a little collar here. Very nice hat, hat with a little golden little chains there, a little, little color accent up there. You do get the mechanism to make the mouth open and close like, you know, nutcrackers do. It's not much to it, it's just a little, just a little bar that goes up and down. And that's about it. You do get this nice little face, little closed eyes and little, I guess, curly brown hair. But yeah, it looks good. Not much to it. Looks like a nutcracker. Look good next to your Lego Christmas tree or wherever you want to put it. So yeah, that's, that's about it. It looks good. You can also build a alternate version of your nutcracker, which is pretty much exactly the same as you know the previous one. Just a slightly different face. You get the open eyes and more of a beard on his face than the other one. Still kind of brown curly hair, the hat's exactly the same and still functions the same. So yeah, it's, it looks good. So if you can get this guy for fairly cheap, it's pretty much on sale everywhere. You know, so for like nine bucks, he's, he's probably worth it. Make a good addition to your, you know, Lego Christmas. So yeah, so if you see him, you know, it's probably worth getting. Assuming you like nutcrackers and you're into Christmas stuff. So yeah, good times. But no, you can't actually use it to crack nuts. It's way too, way too small. So yeah, we can't actually use it as a nutcracker. Oh well.
one day. Congratulations, you did it. Now let's crack some nuts.